Today in Wristbeards and Gear, I'm gonna try out the new signature Mike Stringer amp sim from Mixwave for the first time. All right, so my buddy Mike Stringer from Spirit Box just put out a new amp sim with Mixwave, Taylor Larson, Luke Holland, the homies. This is the homie plugin. That's what I'm gonna to refer to it as. I have not tried this plugin yet. I just bought it just like everyone else. They did not send this to me. However, they are friends of mine and I'm really curious to see what they did because I mean, these are top shelf guys doing a top shelf thing. So I have my custom Ernie Ball Music Man Axis Baritone loaded with Fishman Devin Townsend pickups and uh, we're just gonna give this thing a spin. I have it up. I haven't done anything. This is the stock tone, stock settings. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep, sounds like Mike. Uh, very chug-tastic, I love it. Um, I, I'm not totally sure on what all the controls do because I have not uh, played with this yet. I did see in the Instagram post, there's some processing. I'm interested in, oh wow. Okay, so we have controls for the input. We also can compress on the input and maybe the same on the output as well. That's pretty cool. These are typically things you do like, you know, post-processing within the DAW. You don't typically see that in, in a plugin, but you know, bringing Taylor's studio experience and brain into this thing, this is, makes all the sense in the world. Um, I don't know what the transpose. Oh, oh, octave. Or detune rather. Sick. This tracks very, very fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course I'm gonna go and knock it down. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that back off now. <laughs> uh, let's see, what, do we, what else do we have here? Oh, we have an output limiter. We have an output limiter, so you can't peak going on the way out. That's cool. I'm not peaking anyway, but still, that's a cool uh, that's a cool feature. Oversampling eight times oversampling. Let's go four. I don't know how many channels there are on this amplifier. I assume this is some kind of a dial maybe. Oh, there we go. Uh, don't know what purple is. Oh, clean. Very, very clean. Oh, oh, there we go. Two channels, three channels, it's like a crunchy kind of a thing. So we got the, what I presume to be is like the lead channel and then the clean channel. That's cool. Okay, let's go, let's go some, uh, some presets, shall we? Andrew Baina, of course, is this not a, uh, a high gain amp sim without an Andrew Baina uh, preset? Drop E. Bana, this might be good. Oh my God. <laughs> All the gain. Give me more gain. If you think it's enough, I want more. Uh, Joseph McQueen, what's up, dude? Rhythm post processed. A lot of these are for like really extended range guitars, 
which mine I wouldn't consider like an extended range of guitar. Uh, let's go to some of them. Oh, dude. Ray, what's up, dude? Baritone King. Give it to me, Ray. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take some of that high end off and the presence off a little bit. Oh, Lord. Uh, it's a ring modulator. Chorus, reverb. Oh, okay, so these are effects. Can I drag these? Oh, I can. Oh, that's sick. Okay, that's pretty cool. Double click to turn it off. Okay, so there's simple. This is just literally a pedal board. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's turn on the delay. Uh, let's see. Let's go a little faster. <laughs> That's cool. Let's go back to some of these presets. Rays is my favorite so far that I've tried. Let's go to uh, Josh Gilbert. Oh Lord, lots of noise. I just, uh, just decided to turn on the gate. Also, do these affect, do the presets affect like my gate settings, for example? Yes, it does, okay. It's crunchy, I like that. Let's go to Mike. Let's go to some mic tones. Top Gun, what is that? Ring me to your leader. It's very usable. That's a really usable, yeah, that's good. Love you, Mike. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, chunk. Let's go to Chunk. Oh. So let's add something like a compressor on that thing. Let's go down and just. Chugtastic. All right, that is the new Mike Stringer signature amp sim from Mixwave. What do you think? It's a lot of fun. I like the addition of the studio-esque tools on the input and output processing. For me, that just lets me do a lot more work within the plugin itself without going to, you know, multiple plugins to kind of shape the tone. This kind of lets you do that all in within the ecosystem of the plugin itself. Very, very nicely done, gentlemen. Um, I'm sure I'm missing some kind of key feature or something like that, but again, this is my first time. This is my initial use of this plugin. It's a lot of fun. It's heavy as hell and uh, worthy of the Spirit Box name. 
I will link down below in the description if you'd like to check this out for yourself. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.